Josh, what is it? Nothing yet. What are you looking for? I don't know, but I'll know it when I see it. This is about the other night, isn't it? It's not just the other night, it's every night. Did you tell mom and dad about it? No, you don't either. They have me talking to a psych again. This has nothing to do with that. Can you do me a favor? When it happens again, even if I'm asleep, wake me up. I want to hear it too. No, you don't. But I'll wake you up. Then you'll believe me. Closer. It came out of the woods and went around the side of the house. Now it's right outside the window. What is outside? Shh. Listen, you wanted me to involve you. Now you're involved. There's no going back. You can't unhear it. No. There. You heard it, right? T t tell me you heard it. Yeah, I, I think so. Hello? Josh, where'd you go? I woke up and your bed was empty. You haven't answered your phone all morning. Where are you? I went to the library. You're at the library? Well, no, I started there, but now I'm at Town Hall. I did a title search on the history of our property in the records department, and you won't believe all the things I found out. Mom's pissed, Josh. She's out looking for you right now. She needs to relax. Just get home and we'll talk about it when you're back. All right, all right. Why didn't you answer your phone? I couldn't have my phone on in the library, and by the time I got to town hall, I forgot to turn it back on. Just get your book back here, alright? Okay, okay. I'm already walking back. See you in about ten minutes. Wake up. I said wake up. You listening? You listening now? What do you want? Now we're getting somewhere. I'm only going to say this once. I'm telling you this so you understand how serious this is. What your brother is getting himself into. 
what he's getting all of us into. There's an evil in these woods. It's a force more powerful than anything we can just conveniently kill off. We can't destroy it, but we can keep it at bay. A compromise, call it a sort of stalemate. We gift it with an offering every full moon, an offering of something we care about. It wants a real sacrifice, a pet cat, a family dog, my great-grandfather even offered up newborn babies, but I'd like to think we've evolved from those more primitive offerings. Then comes your brother. Spends all his time in the woods. We, we watch. We watch everything. And he's searching, stirring up things that are better left alone. Trust me, he doesn't want to anger this thing. We've tried many times before to kill it, but all it did was wipe out our ancestors. So you tell your brother to leave well enough alone. Stay out of the woods. You got it? I'm sorry about this, but we got to send a strong message, you understand? Call them. doubts about you. You touch my brother again, and I'll carve his name on your face. Yeah, I like your energy, little guy. So are we straight, you and me? No more hunting, stirring things up in the woods. You're gonna leave it alone, right? I'll agree to it, under one condition. It's always something with you, isn't it? What do you want? 
I want to meet face to face. To seal the deal, I want to look you in the eyes and shake on it. Name the time and place. My house, midnight. Isn't that a little past your bedtime? We don't want my parents awake for this, do we? If you get the police involved, I'll know. It's just you and me. Call me when you're outside. It's done. Someone just parked outside in the front, and they turned their lights off. You made it. I'm not inside, so don't bother knocking. You don't want my parents involved, do you? I'm in the backyard, around the side. I see you. Keep going. That's right, just go past the big tree in front of you. Keep going. To your left, to your left. Keep going, I'm right here. I see you. What was that? Your traps? Or the creature? Doesn't matter. 